Okay, so in this video, this is the project that I want to do next. This is my third bedroom. And what I want to do on this green wall is build some display shelves and they'll go to the ceiling and I'll trim them out with moldings and make them look nice and solid. I will be using shelf brackets that will be screwed into the wall studs so they can hold some weight. Okay, so this will be my next project and I will show you how I do it. Okay, so what I bought is long pine boards. They're seven and a quarter inches wide. I got four of the six foot lens and two of the four foot lens. These boards will be to make the two shelves going across the width of the room, which is 10 and a half feet wide. And then these boards I'll use for uprights to make maybe three segments going across the width. I'll figure it out as I go. <laughs> and these are the brackets. They're very heavy and really nice. I got them on Amazon. They fit this size board exactly perfectly. And they came in this set of eight. So what I need to do now is move the contents of this room. I need to clear off this wall. So anyway, I always use these uh, slidey pads when I'm moving heavy furniture on my floors. And thank goodness I have never gotten a scratch on these floors or these floors. Uh, going over the threshold is a little tricky uh, for heavier furniture. And I just kind of rock it back and forth and try to get the slidey thing to slide uh, underneath the legs as I go over the threshold, but you know, it's always a juggling act <laughs> getting over the thresholds with heavy furniture. Luckily, this room did not have any threshold, so I could just slide it straight in. Why do I love an empty room so much? <laughs> Okay, so I did some measurements of things that I might want to put on these shelves as display. And I have some short vases that are about eight and a quarter, eight and a half inches high. And then I have a couple vases that are about 11 and a quarter high. So I figured that I would make the top shelf have a clearance of about nine inches. And then the bottom shelf have a clearance of about 13 inches. Uh, so 9 and 13 is 22. And I like that that doesn't take up much of the height of this room. Uh, on this graph paper, each square represents 6 inches. So 2 squares to a foot. This is the 9 foot high wall and then 10 and a half feet wide. I like this because I want to be able to hang paintings and prints below this wall unit and then put a desk underneath or if I ever decide to use this room as a bedroom 
I would have room for a headboard then. I also like these measurements because I bought those two four foot long boards to use for the vertical pieces on each shelf. So I'll have enough wood then. Two 13 inch pieces and two nine inch pieces will fit on each of those four foot long boards. So I won't have to buy any more wood right now until I have to go back and buy some moldings and whatever else I decide to add to this uh, wall shelf unit after I get the basics installed on the wall. Okay, so I got this stud finder on Amazon and this will be the first time I'm trying it. Uh, just so I don't have to get up on the ladder, I'm just going to do it at this height. Okay, so it shows you exactly where the studs are. That's pretty nice. I'll mark the middle and then I'll transfer the lines up to where I need to put the brackets. This is pretty nice. Okay, so I marked the studs all the way across and then I transferred my lines up to where I'll be putting the brackets for the two shelves. So now I don't have a laser line. That's the new way to do it. That's the easier way to do it. I don't have one of those so I'm going to use the old-fashioned way which is to use a level. I have a mark here nine inches down for my first shelf bracket and 22 inches down for the second shelf bracket. So now I need to make sure this is level to the next place where I want to put the other bracket. And here's the mark for the stud here and I'll just put an X where it will be level with this one over here. Okay, so measuring before you put any holes in the wall is very important, of course, because I have two different boards that have to line up exactly in the middle and they have to be level with each other too. And the reason why you can't measure just from down from the ceiling is because sometimes that might not be level. Uh, not only in a mobile home, but in any home actually. So this first bracket is spaced a little bit more than 14 inches from the side. 32 inches, uh, skipping one of the studs. Each stud is 16 inch on center. That's the typical uh, building code. So there's a stud here. There's actually a stud here, 16 inches away, center to center. I'm just um, using every second stud. So from here to the next one is 32 inches on center, skipping this stud. 32 inches from that one, this will be in my uh, second board, skipping this stud, and then 32 inches from there on center. And this one ended up being a little closer to 15 and a half inches from the wall. So I made sure that my uh, markings for my bracket holes are exactly lined up vertically and they're level from bracket to bracket all the way across. Okay, I got the first two brackets in. I ended up having to make bigger pilot holes with a, uh, a bigger uh, drill bit. I first started out with the seven 64th drill bit, it wasn't enough, 
So I bumped it up to a 530 second drill bit. And in addition to that, uh, I rubbed the screws on a bar of soap, getting some of the soap onto the threads. And the combination of that, those two made it way easier to uh, screw these screws into the stud. So just rub the screw on the side of the bar of soap, getting the soap into the grooves. Like this. Okay, so now before I put the shelves up, I'm going to check with the level to see if these brackets are level. Oh my gosh, this is the moment of truth. Okay, good news. They are all pretty perfectly level, except for this one is about an eighth of an inch too low. But you know what? I'm going to live with that because what I can do is put a thin piece of cardboard on this part of the bracket before I put the shelf on it and that will make the shelf level. And also I'm going to be using moldings on the front of these shelves. I can make sure the moldings are level so visually everything will look very level and everything is going to be painted out the same color including these brackets uh, probably white i'm not sure about that yet so i think that will work fine i'm really happy with this okay so good morning it's time now to pause and reflect. <laughs> As I look at the shelves this morning, I put some things on it that I might display on the shelves and I'm not so happy with the proportions. Uh, the top shelf is appearing to be too tight and uh, the bottom shelf is fine, the height of the bottom shelf. Um, but the items on the top, you can't really see them so well up there. I'm wondering if after I have everything together with moldings and paint everything white, you know, the entire shelf unit white with the vertical divisions in between the three segments of the width, that it might look okay. I measured and the top height is 9 inches the way I had figured it would be but the height of the bottom shelf the clearance is about 12 and a quarter 12 and a half I had intended it to be uh, 13 so I think my math I didn't account for the fact that the screw hole is about an inch up from the bottom of the bracket. I think that was where I made the mistake. So I might make a little change. I don't want to move all of the brackets, that's for sure. What I might do is uh, remove the top brackets and move them down about three quarters of an inch or an inch and that will make the clearance of the top shelf 10 inches and the clearance of the bottom shelf like 11 and a quarter, which I think will be fine. Those tall vases will still fit on the bottom shelf. I don't know, so what do you think? I'm gonna have to end this video here because it's already long enough. So there will be a part two to my shelf making project. So thanks again for watching and I'll see you next week.